What's up everybody? It's your boy David. Good to see y'all again. It's been a long time. Uh, I just want to take this before the Lord in prayer and to share with y'all the uh, things that have been circulating around in my mind about the kind of warfare and fight and spiritual battle that we are in as Christians in these last days. So I'm just going to open up in prayer. Lord God, I pray that you would lead me by the Holy Spirit, that you would open our minds, our spiritual ears and spiritual eyes to your truth, God, and to any message that you decide to give, Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And God, I just pray that you would lead us and protect us and encourage us all, God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all are blessed. Um, a lot of things are changing in the world. A lot of things are changing with YouTube. Uh, they're hitting people with strikes and uh, there's people that are attacking each other and trying to bring people's channels down and things like that. And I just wanna say that um, this channel and any other channel out there that is doing this for Jesus Christ, um, should be more concerned with the messages that they are giving and the vital information that needs to be given than anything else. Definitely more than money, definitely more than anything out there. Like there's threats and there's people that are coming after each other and there's defamation of character and there's disrespect and there's slander and all kinds of things going on. I don't want to promote those things. I will expose any works of darkness that is, you know, needs to be exposed by the power of the Holy Spirit, but slander is not the, the way to go. So I just want to go ahead and speak about the things that are going on. I'm going to call this message the Terminator because the enemy is trying to steal, kill, and destroy us. He is trying to terminate us. And just like the movies about the Terminator, uh, the Terminator Genesis, actually shows how the nanotechnology comes into play and how it's being used to change somebody's body. John Connor was taken over by nanotechnology and they completely changed his character. They, they, they messed up that story, in my opinion. Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 were pretty good. Terminator 3 was okay, but they kind of deviated. But after that, it got kind of crazy. My point is the nanotechnology. That is where this war is at. So we are dealing with an enemy, y'all, that is invisible, an enemy that you cannot see, an enemy that is in, in the air, an enemy that's in the food, an enemy that's in what we drink, and also is in those. So the enemy is out there, but people can't quite put their finger on it. And if they can't put their finger on it, they don't know a whole lot about it. But people are wise. People are waking up, um, especially in the past six months. A lot of people in my country, in the United States of America, have woke up to this being something that definitely is a Christian that you would never want to get. Because it can alter your DNA, point blank. Um, the whole idea of the mRNA, it hacks the proteins in your cells to infiltrate your cells. It basically takes over your immune system and becomes the defense in your body against uh, any kind of virus. and. Uh, Without going into detail, so I won't be censored and banned or deleted, uh, I'm just gonna say, you know, virus. It can basically um, re-hardwire your entire body. Imagine if it was like the movie The Terminator and the Terminator Genesis, where John Connor is basically in his human form, but inside his internal makeup, he's completely different because that's what this nanotechnology seeks to do. And when it gets inside of you, it can rewire you and who you are and basically take over your thought process and you deviate in character. You're gonna lose, people that get this and that go unrepentant about this are going to slowly lose their humanity. Um, from everything I've seen, scientifically speaking, people are gonna lose who they actually are. And will they turn into a zombie? Will they turn into something else? Will they just get really sick? Will they just die? I think all of the above are possible. And the thing is, 
They want us focused on fighting each other. They want us to be mad at the politicians, like you're mad at the Republicans, or you're mad at the Democrats, or you're mad that the independents didn't win. So, and then the low level tier science of this whole situation that's going on this day and age, the past year and a half, they'll bring Dr. Fauci into it and they'll throw him under the bus. I think he was already premeditated if they needed to throw him under the bus to use him as a scapegoat. Cause there's many people between him and the higher ups. There is a picture of Dr. Fauci with George Soros and Ted Turner and other people that want to depopulate the planet. These guys run in the same circles and they're all about a depopulation agenda. See, and they're, they're very crafty and very careful and they do it over time. They play the long game. They know what they're doing, but they are willing to sacrifice. The higher ups are willing to sacrifice low, lower level or low tier people and set them up to be thrown as the scapegoat to the public if needed, like, Bill Gates, his name has been run through the mud in a lot of ways. Um, if they need to throw him to the wolves, they'll throw him to the wolves too. But see, these guys are the distractions. These politicians are the distractions. Once you realize that these people aren't who they say they are, that they're all the same, it doesn't matter which politician we're talking about, y'all. It doesn't matter if it's Trump or anybody else. These guys are in the world system of manipulation and high level sorcery to manipulate the planet into desired directions for the demons and fallen angels. So like I said, they want us to be mad at our president. They want us to be mad at other countries. Now, we know that this whole, you know what, um, the virus of it was made in a lab. You know, we know by the information that's out there that there's a lot of shady stuff going on. There's scientists that are sick, evil, and twisted, and they're manipulating um, and genetically engineering these DNA altering these. And they're putting it out there because this is the new warfare. It's what I'm trying to tell y'all. The whole idea of, you know, World War III coming and, you know, a nuclear war that's gonna uh, destroy the entire world, it's not even necessary. They could do it, that could be part of it, but it's not even necessary. We are so far past with the fallen angel technology we have, with all the DARPA technology, underground bases, and, and, and all the stuff that we have from working with fallen angels, our governments working with fallen angels, we are so far beyond having to use explosions, having to detonate bombs, but see, they still use them because they're effective tools for the eye. So people can see, oh, there's a war in the Middle East, Oh, there's a war in Israel. There's a war here and there. And think, oh, that's going to lead to World War III. Well, dude, we're so far past that, it's not even funny. Truth be told, World War III already happened. World War III was the Cold War, and it was an arms race to get these nuclear weapons, mainly between Russia and the United States. Okay? We are already in the Fourth World War, and the Fourth World War is an information war. It's, it's, it involves hacking, it, it, it involves genetics, DNA manipulation, um, high level science or sorcery, black magic. The things that you can't see are the most effective weapons and the most effective enemy because it's hard to fight an enemy that is unseen. And they know this. In the book, The Art of War, it talks about how the art of war is built upon deception. So they want you to look one way. Here's, here's the beginning of what could be World War III. Here's what's going on in Israel. Oh no, we're gonna be doomed and we're, we're, it's, it's all gonna be this whole situation where there's gonna be this nuclear war and then everything's gonna be destroyed. We're not gonna have food, we're not gonna have this, we're not gonna have that. Yes and no. Yes and no. Because yeah, there's gonna be famine. Yeah, there's gonna be serious war. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna die. But it's probably gonna happen a lot different than the way people think it's gonna happen. You see, because with this whole situation going on, DNA manipulation going on, people getting sick and dying, that's gonna call the herd, you see? And they could do that without one bomb going off. People are literally becoming a bomb, a, t a ticking time bomb within themselves, and they can shed onto other people and make them sick. So this tool that's being used, the Vs, basically sent around the world and, and given to at least 50 to 70% of the population, can effectively possibly destroy 75 to 95% of the population of the world. 
without one missile being fired. Ain't that crazy? You see, they got us focused. Now they got us focused on China, saying China's the enemy. Yes and no. Say it was developed in China, but these people that control the governments in China, that control our government and say, oh, it's China, it goes way higher than that, y'all. It is the Illuminati. It is those people that are in control, the dark sorcerers. It's the people that are involved in these secret societies, the skull and bones. The people that are the big players that make the decisions, that want to depop, depopulate the earth. The Ted Turners of the world, the Rothschilds, um, the Rockefellers. These are the true enemy, but they keep us focused on fighting against each other based on race, religion, sexual preference, creed, you know, uh, standards, you know, what people think is right and wrong, all these little things, and then they get us to fight, to focus on, well, we can do something about that, we can vote for someone that's going to have our best interest. Then you blame the person that didn't get, you know, that you voted for, that didn't do what you thought they were supposed to do, or your person that get elected that you voted for, and you still think, well, we gotta get it right this next four years. So then they get you focused on fighting against the whole, uh, in the political arena, the political battle. And a lot of Christians are taking up for Trump and going back and forth. Look, y'all. I didn't have anything against Trump about four or five years ago. Um, I thought that he could be who they said he was going to be. Truth be told, though, man, he's a Kabbalist. He is a high-level Kabbalist, meaning a sorcerer that's very good at mathematics and science. And after all, he is a builder, master mason, um, Luciferian, that is helping to build this world empire for the Antichrist. Okay. Um, there's all kinds of pictures of him doing the secret handshakes. Yes, he's undercover. He's not like the rest of them in the political arena. He's undercover, but he is a part of the game that's being played. It's a, a, a docudrama that's happening in front of us in this world. And he's just one of the players, y'all. His Trump Tower, it's one of the uh, tarot cards. The tower is one of the tarot cards, Trump Tower. And then there's another tarot card of a guy with blonde hair sitting on top of a flag on top of the world with a magic wand and he's sitting on it. It looks just like Donald Trump. Okay, there's also Illuminati cards uh, about media um, with that shows a dude that looks like Trump. So for decades, he was already chosen to be in place where he was going to be and set up to be the false good guy. See, that's what he is, y'all. He's going to do a lot of good things to get you to believe and trust him. But think about this, all of this stuff with the, uh, the rollout of Operation Warp Speed and getting this all in less than a year and all of this stuff has been rolled out by who? Who was president and who signed Operation Warp Speed and who did all this stuff to get us to where we are right now? Trump, Trump did that. So it, I don't even feel it necessary to go into detail, but yes, he had a Kabbalah teacher uh, growing up in his uh, business school and uh, spiritual school and he won the, the Tree of Life Award which is the Kabbalah Tree of Life Award which means you have to be like the best Kabbalah student there is and you have to have the best ties there is with Israel and a lot of people don't realize as Christians that this Israel is a Rothschild Zionist state these aren't even a lot of these dudes aren't even blood Jews they're converted Jews they're white Jews and these dudes are there to basically wield the power of the Antichrist around the world. The United States work with Israel, and this current Israel is not what most Christians think that it is. I am for blood uh, Israelites. Even if they just believe the Old Testament and don't believe the New Testament yet, I, I feel like they're brothers in a way. Um, but these fake Jews that are in Israel, these white Jews and these, uh, these, these Kabbalists, and, and these dudes like Donald Trump and all these dudes that play the games with these masters and overlords to deceive our world and society, they're not good people, y'all. No, I don't know of one billionaire in this world that is a good person. Look at George Soros, evil. Uh, Bill Gates, evil. Ted Turner, evil. Um, the Rothschilds, super rich, super evil. It's like the richer you are in this world, especially if you're, if you're a billionaire, you're some sort of evil and you've done some amount of evil to get there and you're part of some society and connected with other people that are super evil that may be much eviler, you know, eviler than yourself. So 
Don't trust in man, y'all. We can't trust in man. We have to trust in God. So like I'm saying, they deceive us by looking all these different directions, all these levels of, okay, it's uh, social problems. It's political problems. It's uh, a different country's problem. Like now they want us to be against China. And China said this us. China said we developed this, uh, that, that we developed the, uh, the you know what, the King virus, that we are the ones that created it. And, and, and our United States is saying that China developed it. So my whole point is that they keep us looking here and over there and blaming each other to where we blame countries and then the countries are gonna fight each other and put on a big show, a big war, you know, for us, whether it be Israel with the missiles or whether it be Iran or, or, or whatever it is. They got us focused on everything else except what's really going on. What I'm trying to tell y'all is that there are demons and there are fallen angels walking around that have possessed people in massive numbers I am convinced more than ever has been on this earth before, <sighs> except when they originally came. And the bottomless pit and these portals are being opened to them, and people are, are making blood contracts with them, and they're selling their souls, and their bodies are being used as husks for these fallen angels and for these demons, and they believe they're gaining these powers, and they have power to do things in this world and supernaturally, and they're out here, y'all, and that's the enemy. Even the Bible said that who, who, you know, it looks like it's your enemy, but your enemy is not flesh and blood. Your enemy is unseen. Your enemy is spiritual. And I'm telling y'all, if there was ever a time in history where this is more apparent, it's now, or it should be more apparent, it is now, because our enemy is unseen. It is against these forces, these demons and fallen angels. Do not get hung up on these things like these race debates, these um, Democratic Republican debates, uh, well, we need to go to war with China type of debate, uh, blaming countries and all these different variety of people and systems of government. That is not how we're gonna solve anything. It never has been, but uh, Jesus showed us the way. It's by prayer. We need to go to war, yes. You know, as a Christian, we, uh, we come in peace and we trust in the Lord to give us peace and to uh, to do good unto others that, that don't treat us well. Um, but if somebody is trying to come against your family or trying to hurt your spouse or trying to take or rape your, your family, your kids, whatever, you have a right, a God-given right to defend your family. So I am for defending our families, uh, but at the same time, we have to come in peace and we have to be careful uh, to not slander others, but tell the truth. Expose the works of darkness. We got to expose it. So knowing that our real enemy is what the Bible said all along, the demons and the fallen angels, let's fight against them and let's pray against them and let's be united on a regular basis. If you're not praying against the entities that are in your area, that are in your city or your state or in your country, at least once a week, please start doing it. Because as Christians, we gotta come together and start fighting our enemy because they are united. The enemy is united against us and they're proactive and they're constantly fighting and they're constantly getting more and more uh, territory because Christians are not properly fighting them. We have all the power because of Jesus Christ. All power has been given to him. So we have more power and strength than they do. We just need to use it. So I encourage y'all, No, don't get caught up in these false debates, politically, uh, race, social justice, all these little things, these little pots that the enemy's stirring, these little pots that the media is trying to stir to get us to fight each other or, or to be against other nationalities, uh, races like Chinese people. Like They want us to fight each other. They had us fighting the Middle Eastern people um, World War IV has been going on since the whole war in the Middle East, y'all. Uh, since uh, 2001, since 9-11, that's really when World War IV kicked off. You can call it World War III if you want to. I, I kind of think World War III was a Cold War, uh, like I said, with, China, with uh, Russia and the United States. 
but call this what you want, but it's been happening. World War III or World War IV has been happening since 9-11. And it's an enemy that you can't see. It's this never ending war on terror because you can always say someone's a terrorist and there's never an end to it. There's, there's no way to end it because anybody could be a terrorist until the government says that there's domestic terrorism. So they, they used all these things to enact the Patriot Act to where they can listen in on your phone calls. And that's what they do. They've been, they've been getting metadata on every single one of us on the microphones on our phones ever since uh, the Patriot Act was signed and that was because of Bush. So as Christian, if you think that it's cool to vote Republican and you know, I get that the Democrats are obvious devils. I get that, but the Republicans have done some of the worst stuff there is. Uh, the whole thing with the Patriot Act and Bush and all the and, and killing all those people in Iraq that were actually a lot of innocent people that had nothing to do with 9/11. Nothing in Iraq or Baghdad had anything to do with 9/11, y'all. So it's just a game. They're playing us. Don't let the enemy play you spiritually. Build yourself up in the Holy Spirit. And pray for me, y'all, because when I make videos like this, um, especially videos coming against fallen angels and demons and preparing for videos like this uh, and, and, and leaving the information with y'all or sharing whatever I know with y'all, I get attacked. The enemy goes hard on me. So I need y'all's prayers. Pray for me, and I'll continue to pray for the body of Christ. And I just want to go ahead and pray now. Uh, come against our enemy, which is the demons and fallen angels, uh, the spiritual entities that walk among us, and let's do some damage to the kingdom of hell. And like the Lord says, Lord, you said upon this rock you build your church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Well, Lord God, it seems as though the gates of hell have been prevailing because Christians have not been fighting the enemy like we should. So God, I, I ask, repent, I repent, Lord for not fighting like I should, especially this last two weeks, God, where I'm getting hit by the enemy, Lord, where I'm getting hit by these spiritual forces, God, these demons and these fallen angels, God. I need your protection, Lord. I need your help, God. Other Christians around the world, God, need your help. So I come and I beseech you, Lord. I come into the throne room and I, I ask for forgiveness for my sins, God, and I pray that you would give us peace, Lord. Give us peace, God, and give us joy. Give us joy, God, because like King David said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, Lord, let me have strength in your joy, God. Let us have strength in your joy, the joy of your salvation, God. And Lord God, I come against every demon and fallen angel that's in Nashville, Tennessee, that's in Antioch, Tennessee, that's in Tennessee. I come against every demon and fallen angel that is in the United States, God, and every demon and fallen angel that is in every territory and every city and country and, and territory around the world. And I rebuke them in Jesus' name. I rebuke them by the Lord Jesus Christ. We thresh the mountains. We thresh the hills. We come against the evil sorcerers, God. The black magic sorcerers. People that are not even human, God. People that have been changed. People that were not human to begin with, God. People that are just hus for the enemy, Lord. I rebuke them in Jesus' name, Lord. And I just pray that you give us victory from on high. That you send us the power of your Holy Spirit. A double portion, Lord. Give us a double portion, Lord, like Elisha received when Elijah left, God. Give us a double portion of strength in the Spirit, God, so that when we pray, Lord God, the enemy flees and the enemy disintegrates and the enemy loses its power. I come against the demons and fallen angels and I pray that their power would be diminished in Jesus' name, that they would lose their territory around the world in Jesus' name. And we put them under our feet and we trample upon serpents and scorpions we walk upon serpents and scorpions they have no power over us i claim the blood of jesus over me and over all the people watching this uh video and i pray god that you would anoint us and give us strength in the power of the holy spirit god and that we would go forward and that we would be powerful in you lord god in your peace in your strength god and ready for battle like a warrior, God, like King David, cutting off the heads of giants, God. Let us cut off the heads of these demons and these fallen angels, Lord God. Let them fall before us, God. Let them fall before us, God, as they fall before you because it is you inside of us that makes these things happen and not us. 
So God, I pray that you had your way and that your power would go forward around the world, taking away the power from the demons and fallen angels and all the territory, re reducing their power and grip over people. Let, let addictions be broken, Lord. Let uh, uh, addictions of drugs, pornography, uh, prostitution, anything that's going on around the world, God, let addictions be broken and that the enemy loses territory and power over these people. Free people, Lord. Send your angels, God, to destroy the works of darkness around the world. I come against uh, the works of darkness, that false ministry, God, the revelations of Jesus Christ. I rebuke that false ministry. How dare they even use your name, Lord God, to have power over your people and manipulate and sway your people like a serpent with a serpent tongue. I condemn that serpent tongue. I condemn the lies. I, I condemn the deception. And all these false ministers out here, God, let what they say and do be their own trap for themselves, God. And the ways they're trying to hurt and slander and come against the real church, God. I pray that they fall into their own pits. And that, Lord, that you would crush them in the name of Jesus. And that you would free the people from these false ministries. Because that's what it's all about, Lord God. It's not enough that these false shepherds be brought low, God. It's for the sake of people coming out from among them. God, let our brothers and sisters in the Lord, whether they be weak or strong or deceived or misunder in misunderstanding, come out of these false ministries, Lord, around the world. Obvious deceptive ministries like Kenneth Copeland and Joel Osteen, and then less deceptive ministries like this works ministry where people couldn't see about this a year and a half, two years ago, God. They're seeing now, thank you, Lord. And then the other ministries, Lord God, they, whether it be a Juanita Bynum, an obvious false uh, preacher, an, a sorceress, God, or whether it be someone that's much more clever, God, Lord, regardless of where your people find themselves, I pray that you would free them and that you would pull them back with your staff, God. Pull them back to yourself, to your heart, Lord, with your staff, because your word says you will not lose one. Let not one be lost. And let everybody that's been involved in these deceptive ministries be mentally prepared and spiritually aware and have spiritual discernment because of what they came out of. Let it be for your purposes. Even the evil that's happened to them, let it be for your purpose for them to be spiritually aware and to warn others. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, that I was once deceived in false ministry, Lord, and that you freed me, God. Lord, I thank you, God, that when we truly seek you, we will find you and help us not to give up on you, Lord, because you've never given up on us. Thank you, Lord, and I just bless everybody's home. Let them have peace. Let them have joy. Let them have love. Let them have happiness Lord just let them be happy with their families with their jobs with their wives with their husbands with their kids let them have joy and peace oh let the joy of the Lord be with us God I thank you Lord well I love y'all God bless y'all pray for me as I will pray for you God bless y'all peace